Hello guys, it's been a while. Thanks for joining in. Welcome back to Alex Salon Adventures. So, you guys may be wondering, where's Alec been? What's he been up to? Why ain't he posting? Well, it has been so stinking windy here lately, or cold, rainy, crappy weather. So today is one of the more calmer days that we've had. So if the wind is a little bit bad in the audio, sorry, I, we're doing the best we can. So. You may be wondering and looking around saying, well, this don't look like previous videos. Last fall, we sold our house and we bought this little chunk of land. So today we're gonna do a little tour of the land and our three plus acre lawn. So a little back history on this little 14 acre chunk that we have. We purchased this off my grandparents. Somebody in my family has either lived here or owned this little ground for since 1957 so almost 70 years now somebody in my family has owned this so I am the fourth generation to have this little plot of earth and so we're gonna do some videos on the lawn we have some upcoming videos possibly on some garden stuff we have a garden area tilled up. We have some stuff put in the garden. We got potatoes, sweet potatoes in already. We seed started a bunch of stuff inside. So I'll show you guys that later. But I know you guys are all wondering. Let's let's see this place. Let's, you know, let's take a view. So with that, let's get to it. So I don't know if the camera picks them up very good, but there's some geese out there. So I'm just gonna try not to scare them off too bad. But this is our little pond. Oh, there they go. Scared them off already. So from fence line down this way to the fence line down there and all the way down to, there's a corner road down there. This is our little chunk. Hopefully the wind ain't too bad. The wind just decided to pick up. This is our little area that around the pond the back side of the pond and this throughout in here is going to be soybeans um, i will be the first in the family to actually farm this area this has been a cattle operation for the last quite a few years that was the old cattle livestock barn there's a i don't know if you can see it where the hay bales are there's a cattle water down there and so there's a cattle lot and everything down in there but from the other side, down this field line, clear up to that big, big tree, clear down there, and clear back across is our little 14 acre chunk. So we have, with, with everything around the pond, and then what I've been mowing for the garden plot, we have about three and a half-ish acres of lawn to mow, but the main part that we will be taking care of is up around the house. That's what I'm actually gonna be fertilizing and spraying for weeds and actually really taking care of. Three and a half acres, that's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of money to deal with. So we're gonna start small and then work our way up. So let's go up around the house. So this is the front yard section. So my grandparents had this house built in 2009. It's just a manufactured home. It is plenty nice for what we need. So this front area right here, I will be taking care of this and then it wraps around to the road. So we actually live on gravel. We, from my way to go into town, we're about five miles out on gravel. Um, the way Allison goes to work, it's about three miles on gravel. So we're, we're a ways out here. And so that's the main road right there, the main gravel road. I'll be taking care of all this little area right here too. And then to the back side of the house also. That right there is kind of a what we call the jungle. It's a bunch of different stuff. So we just put up a gazebo because the sun sets down this way and We'd like to have some shade out back here, so 
So I'll be taking care of up until probably the edge of the garage is what I'm what I'm thinking right now. So that was the big tree that I was talking about when I over by the pond. That's kind of the corner lot marking. So the propane tank used to sit right there. And last fall we had that dug. They trenched in a new line, moved the tank over there. Someday we'd like to put a concrete pad back in here. But for now, this is what we got, so. I actually did mow some of this yesterday. It wasn't too terribly bad, but it needed it, so. So that area back in here and then all the way around up into the front yard is what I'm going to be more or less taking care of. So you guys may be wondering, you know, what's what's the videos, what's the style of videos going to look like this year since you're out here? And so, oh, got the camera turned around. So we're going to have lawn videos just the same as before, taking care of all this. So I'm going to do a little series on, you know, brand new yard or beginner to lawn care. You know, what to expect, what to do, everything that goes in with that. So everything that I've kind of talked about in the past, we're going to kind of go over as a brand new lawn. I mean, my grandparents, they took care of this pretty well. Oh, the wind really got bad over on this side. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. I was going to take you guys over to the garden section, but the wind really picked up. But we're going to go over, you know, all the, the basics of everything that I had previously done. My grandpa took very good care of it. There's just a few spotty weeds, nothing real bad. We got a few spots that's going to need some grass seed. Also, this little hill that I'm kind of on right here. We're going to start a three-hole golf course. It'll be nothing more than probably a pitching wedge course. It's not going to be huge. But I'm going to try to... I, got, I bought a reel mower, a little, you know, hand, 14-inch reel mower. So I'm excited to try to, you know, start that and see how that's all going to go. But we're down here in the garden area now, so I'm going to flip this around. So right here is our little garden area. The pond is back up over that way. And so we actually have potatoes and sweet potatoes. I don't know if you can see the stakes. We actually have those in the ground right now. We're gonna be doing sweet corn and a bunch of other stuff out here. We might actually even have to expand the garden because I think we might have too much stuff already. But that lot right there, that you can kind of see we're going to leave that as a pasture lot for now um, just in case we happen to get some animals at a later date i don't really want to be farming that and then want to use it for something else so this is a little tour we're going to have some garden content coming up lawn content coming up so i'll take you guys inside and show you the seed starting stuff so this is actually the dog's room, but we've turned it into our little garden grow area. So I'm not sure how, if the lights are gonna screw with this or not, but there's some of the stuff that we've started uh, about two weeks ago. And then this bigger stuff was started four maybe weeks ago, beginning of March. So we have all kinds of different stuff. This is actually the view from this room so pretty cool looking out over everything so we got lots of different things going on so thank you guys for watching if you like this please subscribe it help me out we got lots of cool stuff coming up so please hit that subscribe this is a little catch up on everything we've got going on right now so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one